Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Kindly make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you share this video. In this video, I'm just going to explain my MCQ questions on glycolysis. So let's quickly look at some few questions. So we have been given question 1 which is saying which of these enzyme reaction is not irreversible in glycolysis? A. We have been given exokinase, B. Glucokinase, C. 3 phosphoglycerate kinase, D. Phosphofractokinase 1, and E. Pyruvate kinase. So, the enzyme which is not irreversible in glycolysis, this is just the word C, which is E. 3 phosphoglycerate kinase. Let's quickly move on and look at the next question. Which of the following statement is not true about aerobic glycolysis? A. The rate limiting enzyme is phosphofractokinase, which converts fructose 6-phosphate to fructose 1-6-phosphate. B. The pathway is inhibited allostratically by fructose 2-6-phosphate and AMP. C. The pathway takes place in mitochondria of every cell. D. The pathway produces pyruvate and NAD. And then the pathway begins with glucokinase or hexokinase. So the answer is just B, which is the pathway is inhibited allosically by fructose 2 6 phosphate and AMP. Let's quickly move on and look at this question. What is the first step in the glycolytic pathway in the liver? A is catalyzed by glucokinase. B uses ATP and glucose as substrate. C produces glucose 6-phosphate and ADP. D is an irreversible step. E, O of the above. The answer is just O of the above. Okay, let's quickly move on. Phosphoglycerate kinase function in carbohydrate metabolism to produce ATP via A. Oxidase phosphorylation B. Substrate level phosphorylation C. Oxidase decarboxylation D. Phosphorylysis E. Oxidative deamination So the answer is B which is just substrate level phosphorylation The next question is the phosphofractokinase 2 enzyme that transfer a phosphate group to fructose 6-phosphate in glycolysis dash A is active in phosphorylated form B catalyzes the reversible reaction C produces fructose 2 6 phosphate as a product D is the rate limiting enzyme for glycolysis E produces ATP as a product. The answer is just C, which is produce fructose 2,6 biosphosphate as a product. Let's quickly move on and look at the next question. The enzyme that produces NADH from a triose phosphate in glycolytic pathway, A uses NAD plus and dehydroxyacetone phosphate as a substrate. B produces 1,3 bisphosphate glycerate and NADH. C catalyzes irreversible reaction. D is called 3 phosphoglycerate kinase. E uses FADH2 and glycerate hydride 3 phosphate as a substrate. The answer is just B, which is produces 1,3 bisphosphate glycerate and NADH. Next question, the enzyme that catalyzes first substrate level phosphorate in glycolysis. A produces 3-phosphoglycerate as a product. B produces ADP from AMP. C is called glycyloadride 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. D is called phosphofractokinase. E is the rate limiting enzyme of glycolysis. The answer is just A, which is produces 3 phosphoglycerate as a product. Okay, the next question is the enzyme that catalyzes the second substrate level phosphorylate of glycolysis. A is called phosphoglycero 
Mutes B produces lactase as a product. C uses phosphor in all pyruvate as a substrate. D catalyzes the reversible reaction. E is stimulated by glucagon. The answer is just C, which catalyzes a reversible reaction. Let's quickly move on. Which of the following statement about the lactase dehydrogenase reaction is false? The enzyme convert pyruvate to lactase. The enzyme convert NADH to ionize NAD. C. The action is irreversible. D. It is the last enzyme reaction in glycolysis. E. The enzyme is highly active under aerobic condition. The answer is just E which is the enzyme is highly active under aerobic condition. The two major factors determining whether a cell oxidizes glucose by aerobic glycolysis or by anaerobic glycolysis are A. FADH2 and the number of mitochondria B. NADH and ATP slash ADP ratio C calcium 2 plus and AMP, D oxygen pressure and the number of mitochondria, E presence of low glucose and high AMP. The answer is just B, NADH and the ATP slash ADP ratio. The conversion of pyruvate to acetyl coenzyme A happens in what stage of metabolism? The answer is just what B, which is stage 2. The next question, where does the breakdown of starch to glucose takes place? This simply takes place in the extracellular matrix. Then we have this question, which pathway takes place in the cytosol A, conversion of oxaloacetate to malate, B, conversion of pyruvate to acetyl coenzyme A, C. Conversion of pyruvate to oxoacetate. D. Oxidative phosphorylation. E. Breakdown glucose to pyruvate. The answer is just E. Anabolism is described as A. A process that produces energy. B. An oxidative process. C. A process that produces one common product. D. A convergence process e a process that creates nad plus nadp a plus and adp the answer is a which is a process that produces energy the committed step in a pathway is a the step where energy is produced b the step that is usually reversible c a branch point in the pathway d usually catalyzed by kinases e the slowest step in the pathway. The answer is just E, which is the slowest step in the pathway. Okay. Which of the following is not true about regulatory enzyme? A, they control the speed of the reaction. B, they catalyze the slowest step in a pathway. C, they catalyze reversible step in the pathway. D, they catalyze the committed step of the pathway. E, they are regulated by allostatic regulator. The answer is just C, which is the catalyzed reversible steps in the reaction. How many ATP molecules are produced per molecule of glucose as a direct result of glycolysis? The answer is A, which is just 2. What happens during glycolysis? A, electrons from glucose are used to oxidize NADH, producing NADH. B. Substrate level phosphorylation occur producing ATP. C. Glucose is broken down into pyruvate. D. Pyru pyruvate is broken down into carbon dioxide and acetylcoism A. The answer is C, which is glucose is broken down into pyruvate. So guys, thank you very much for joining me. This was Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel.